G'day everybody, this is Scott Birch, otherwise known as The Bee. In this episode of the S5000 Tech Talks, we'll be having a look at the tub. a lot over the years and what we have here is uh, commonly referred to as a safety cell or a survival cell so you can see the big focus on these often is with the driver safety these things are pretty well bomb proof the thing that makes them up is you've got quite a thick layer of carbon fibre on either side of an aluminium honeycomb they're made in a couple of different parts you can actually see seam lines in the tub there's a top half moulded and then there's a lower half and they're actually bonded together and they're, they're baked in an autoclave which is basically a low pressure oven to, to make the chassis as, as hard as it can possibly be. The tub essentially makes the backbone of an open wheel race car. It's got to be extremely stiff to put up with all of the loads that we're putting into it. We put a lot of loads coming in from suspension, uh, aerodynamic loading, there's an engine bolted to the rear of the chassis here and then a fuel tank in the rear. So there's a lot of things working there, pushing and pulling this thing. And on top of that, it has to put up with tremendous loads if, uh, if accidents happen, and they can, and you, uh, you hit safety barriers and things like that on the circuit. One of the safety features these tubs have is a pretty polarising feature that came out a, few, a couple of years ago. It's become mandatory on these cars, the halo. The halo is designed to ensure that the driver is protected from uh, foreign debris like wheels if there's an accident or even to make sure the, the crash barriers don't intrude into the cockpit on them. With carbon monocoques, if you have a look at these up close you can see there's a, a composite weave in there. Now the orientation of these fibres is actually very important to how this will deal with stresses from the inputs and from and from crashes. With the thickness of the layers, there's quite a lot of sheets in there and you can't just go laying them up wherever you feel like you actually have to orientate them. There's a process they go through to ensure that the rigidity of the structure is as sound as can possibly be. And if there's an impact, it'll take it. So you'll see sides are often made for, for side forces and then you'll see the top's often laid at an angle for, for torsional rigidity. A few of the reasons for selecting this, this particular tub was uh, due to its, uh, its proven on track record, a lot to do with uh, being an extremely safe cell and it was easily turned into a high manufacturer item for us to, to take on. It was able to be easily adapted for, for the very large horsepower that we were putting in, into the car. And to be honest, when Armageddon comes, there's no safer place you'd rather be than in one of these. <laughs> 